Hi, this is Miss Torres, and today we are going to do Go Math Chapter 11, Lesson 1. So Chapter 11 is about measurement and data. So we're going to start by our first lesson in measurement, which is comparing lengths. So we are going to learn about how to compare the lengths of many objects. So what we have here is a unicorn wand and a toy truck. So we are going to learn if we have these two objects, how can we compare their lengths? So as you can see here on the left side, we have this black line. Now when we measure and compare two objects, we want to have a point to measure from. This line will help us line up our objects so that we can measure them correctly. So what we're going to do when you find your two objects is you want to line them up. So I'm going to start by taking my unicorn, moving the unicorn so that she is lined up, so that this unicorn wand is lined up with the black line, right? Not over, right, or too far, right here, lined up with that black line. Then I'm going to take my truck and I'm going to line it up with the black line as well. So now that I've lined up my two objects, this is where we can compare their lengths. Which one is longer and which one is shorter? Now when we line them up, we see that the unicorn wand comes out farther than the truck does. So the unicorn wand is longer than the truck. Or you could say that the truck is shorter than the unicorn wand. So those are the two terms that we will be learning about in this chapter or in this lesson. Now, what we are doing in the beginning of this Go Math lesson is comparing the lengths of two pencils. We have a purple pencil and a green pencil, and we lined them up to see which one is longer or shorter, or you could say about the same length. So look at the pencils. Compare the lengths of the two pencils. Use the words longer than, shorter than, or about the same length to describe the lengths. Point to the longer pencil. We're going to circle the longer pencil. So again, we see this purple pencil comes out farther than the green one. So we can say that the purple pencil is longer than the green pencil. Next, I want you to point to the shorter pencil. I'm going to write an X on the shorter pencil. Now remember that this green pencil doesn't come out as far as the purple pencil does. So the green pencil is the shorter pencil. Okay, let's turn the page. So here we have our cube trains. So what you are going to do or what we are going to do is make a cube train that is either longer than or shorter than the cube train that we see. So I'm going to do my best to draw the cube trains. So for number one, we have red cubes. And what they are asking us to do is they are asking us to build a cube train that is longer than the one that we see here. So first I'm going to count and see how long this cube train is. One, two, three, four, and five. So this cube train is five cubes long. Now if we want to build something that is longer, okay, we can do, let's see, what's one more than five? Five, six to make it longer. So here I'm tracing what they already have. They have six cubes drawn here to make it longer than the top one, okay? So at the bottom, you see this one ends here, this one ends here, so this one is longer than the top one. Okay, 
Now we're going to be working on the middle one, number two, right here. Okay, they're asking us again to draw a train, a cube train that is longer than the cube train shown. Okay, so I'm going to draw my cube train. Here's the same length. Okay. But I need to make it longer, so I'm going to add one more. Now you could add two more or three more to make it longer, right? It's however long you want to make it, as long as the bottom one is longer. Okay, so this one is longer than the one on top. Okay, next one is number three here at the bottom. Okay, they're asking you again to draw a cube train that is longer. So if I drew this cube train right here, is this longer than the top one? No, it's actually shorter. So I need to keep adding cubes until it's longer, right? Is it longer yet? No, it's the same length. So I need to add more. Is it longer now? Yes, it is longer now. The top one has one, two, three, and the bottom one has one, two, three, and four. So this one is longer than the top one. Okay, let's move on to the next page. On this page, we are going to focus on drawing cube trains that are shorter than the train that we see, okay? So on the last page, we focused on drawing longer trains and on this page, we're going to focus on shorter trains. So if we start at the top, it looks like we have an orange cube train. And we want to make a cube train that is shorter than the cube train shown. Now, there's no right and wrong answer to how many cubes are in your train as long as it's shorter. So on the top, right, number four, how many cubes do we have in that train? I'm going to count them. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. Now, if we have seven cubes in this train, we want to make one that's shorter. So if I drew this cube train, is this shorter than the top one? Now, remember, the top, if we draw a line right here, this line shows the end of the top cube train. Now, we want to make, make sure that this one is shorter. And it is, right? It doesn't go all the way to the line, so it is shorter than the top one. Now, what you could also do, let me erase here. You can also draw a cube train like this. And if you drew two in your cube train, it's still shorter than the top one. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the next one, number five. We have a blue cube train right here. Now, I'm not going to count how many this time. This time I'm just going to draw a shorter cube train. So if I drew the line all the way out here, right, is this shorter than the top one? It's not, right? It's longer. It goes out farther. So we need to erase that. And try again. We are going to draw a cube train that is shorter. So I'm going to do this one. One, two, and three. Is this cube train shorter now? Yes, it is shorter than the top one. The next one at the bottom, number six, we have a red cube train. And again, we are making a cube train that is shorter. So I'm going to just draw a tiny one, just one cube in my cube train. That makes it shorter than the top. Okay, so remember if I were to draw the black line, right, we use our line to help us measure things. And the train at the top goes all the way to the black line. But this one doesn't, right? It stops right here. It stops short. So the bottom one is shorter than the top one. All right, let's move on to the next page. This page has two different problems. The first one, okay, there are two pencils that are the same length. 
Okay, I'm going to pick, hmm, what color should I pick? I'm going to pick purple. Now, we are going to circle or point to the two pencils that are the same length, right? That means if you were to measure them, they would be the same. So point to the two pencils that are the same length. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, the two pencils that are the same length are the top one and the bottom one. These two are the same length. They go out to the same point right here. Those two are the same length. Now, you're going to either draw if you have a pen or a pencil and paper at home, or you can just think about how we can show two objects that are about the same length. So if you have a pen, pencil, and paper at home, you can try this activity. Can you draw two objects that are the same length? If you need to pause the video so that you can do that, you may. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to think of an object. Hmm, what should I pick? I'm going to choose a wand, like a wand with a star at the top that you wave around. That's what I'm going to choose, and I'm going to draw two wands that are the same length. My first wand I want to make green. So I'm going to use this black line here, and I'm going to draw my first wand with my star at the top. And now I'm going to draw another wand that is the same length as the green wand. So I'm going to choose a blue wand this time and I want to make it the same length. So when I'm drawing, I need to make sure that I draw it the same exact length as the one at the top. And here we have the blue wand and the green wand at the same length, okay? Now, at home, you can get a pencil and ask them to find an object that is longer than a pencil or shorter than a pencil, okay? So at home, if you'd like, you can play kind of like a scavenger hunt. So you can hold an object, whether that's a pencil, a pen, a marker, and then your job is to go around the house and find something that is longer and find something that is shorter. That will help you practice longer and shorter. Thank you for watching.